The Western Sydney Airport Metro is a re Oh, sorry, that's the wrong name. The Metro Western Sydney Airport is... Wait, sorry. The Sydney Metro West Airport line is... Wait, the... What? You know what? That's the problem. The problem is its name. <sighs> One more try. The Sydney Metro Western Sydney Airport is a transit line currently under construction in Sydney's far west. It's a 23 km driverless railway that will link the T1 at St Mary's with Sydney's newest airport at Badgeries Creek, also known as the Western Sydney Airport, or the Nancy Bird Walton Airport, or the Badgeries Creek Airport or the Western Sydney International Nancy Bird Walton Airport. My lord, who named everything attached to this project? The line will have six stations at St Mary's, Orchard Hills, Luddenham, the Airport Business Park, Airport Terminal, and Aerotropolis. Set to open in 2026, right in time for the new airport's opening, the project will allow travellers to easily get to and from the new airport by rail. But there's a problem. And no, it's not just the name. Before I continue, massive shout out to my monthly Kofi supporters. Please do consider supporting me over on Kofi if you can. Also, the official Building Beautifully 2024 calendar is now available. I've included some of the many epic drone shots I've filmed over the past year. I reckon this would make a pretty good Christmas present. Even better, the first 30 buyers will go in a draw to win a free hoodie, so get in fast! In 2015, the Southwest Rail Link was opened to commuters. It was an 11km railway with two new stations at Edmondson Park and Leppington. The railway's terminus was located barely 10 kilometers as the crow flies from the Western Sydney Airport, the construction of which had just been announced at the time. Proposals were released that year by Transport for New South Wales for potential extensions to the Southwest Rail Link, heading both north to the new airport and south towards Oran Park, Norellan and MacArthur. Planning already underway to extend it to the new Badgeries Creek Airport. And ahead of Sydney's second airport, the Minister says extending the rail link there is under consultation. The implication was clear. The Southwest Rail Link would one day form part of the rail link to the Western Sydney Airport, providing an easy link to the major Southwest Sydney city centres of Liverpool and Campbelltown. Fast forward almost eight years to 2023. The Southwest Rail Link still ends at Leppington, and construction of its extension is still yet to begin. Instead, we have the Western Sydney Metro Airport line. But before we get to that, let's talk a bit about the new Western Sydney Airport. I've discussed it at length in two previous videos, and in fact myself and Paul from Transport Vlog just did a collab together where we toured the new airport. I'll link those three videos in the top right. Oh, and here's a little surprise for you. Paul's actually joined up with me for this video. Hi Sheriff. Oh, where are you Paul? Well I'm in my happy place, but that's not important right now, so in a nutshell, the Western Sydney Airport is a new airport located 44 kilometres west of Sydney's CBD and is scheduled to open in late 2026. Not only will it help to alleviate congestion at the almost at capacity Kingsford Smith Airport, but its location in the middle of nowhere will allow it to grow without restrictions. And the airport will operate without a curfew, making it Sydney's first 24-7 operational airport, and that's a game changer for reasons Sharath and I have already explored at length. But there are disadvantages to it being located in the middle of nowhere, specifically the lack of anything or anyone. Now this isn't a problem unique to Sydney, many big airports are located far away from their city's CBD area, Kuala Lumpur International Airport is a good example of this. Put an airport close to the CBD and you subject residents to loud and unpleasant aircraft noise. But obviously, when you locate an airport far away from the CBD, you really have to strongly consider how people are going to get there. When the draft plan for the new Western Sydney Airport was released in October 2015, the Federal Minister for Infrastructure said there were no plans to build a rail link to the new airport. Mate, this guy seriously thought the airport wouldn't need a rail link until it had 80 million passengers a year. Fortunately, sense prevailed a few months later and planning commenced to decide where a rail link to the new airport would go. 
Several options were released in a scoping study in September 2016 and were then further narrowed down to three options in March 2018. A north-south link from Talawong to MacArthur via St Mary's and the new airport would provide a decently fast link to important western Sydney centres such as Raz Hill, Penrith, Blacktown, Campbelltown and most importantly Parramatta, widely considered Sydney's second CBD. An east-west metro from Sydney CBD to the new airport via Parramatta would be faster, frequent and more direct linking the airport to Sydney's two biggest city centres. And an extension of the Southwest Rail Link to the new airport would be the simplest, allowing strong connections to Sydney's southwest and opening up the possibility of a direct connection to Sydney's existing airport, assuming the T8 was reorganised at Glenfield. This would allow transiting passengers to transfer easily between airports. And then, the report recommended that the North-South link progress, deciding that this line would deliver the strongest benefits to Western Sydney. By connecting Sydney's Southwest and Northwest, this rail link broadens Greater Sydney's focus from the Harbour CBD and opens new possibilities for homes, jobs and investment in Western Sydney. The report then recommended that the government stage the project into three parts. St Mary's to the new airport, then St Mary's to Talawong, and then Eritropolis to MacArthur. And with that, the Western Metro Sydney Airport Rail Link was born. Five years and $11 billion later, a lot of heads have been left scratching. Precisely because of the Southwest Rail Link. Because for all intents and purposes, the Sydney Western Airport Metro problem is the Southwest Rail Link problem. Wait, does that make sense? I don't know, it sounds cool. As I already said, investigations had been ongoing since 2015 to extend the Southwest Rail Link to the new airport, which had more or less been the intention for decades. Estimates were that extending the Southwest Rail Link would only cost about six billion. And honestly, I suspect even this is an overestimation. I mean, the report suggests Leppington to Aerotropolis would be 2 billion, and the remaining short distance would be an extra 4 billion, so that doesn't make any sense to me. But look, even excusing the simple fact that this extension would be shorter and cheaper, there were other advantages to it. As I already discussed, with some quick reconfiguring at Glenfield, the T8 could have linked Western Sydney Airport to Kingston Smith Airport, allowing for flight transfers while still linking to Sydney CBD, all without changing lines. The ability to transfer from one airport to another on one no-transfer train ride would have been a boon for travellers. But most importantly, an extension of the Southwest Rail Link would have linked the new airport much more directly with its most nearby city centres of Liverpool, Cabramatta and Campbelltown. After all, the new airport is more or less located in southwestern Sydney and most of its workers and passengers are likely to live here. Linking it to its closest major city centre of Liverpool surely would have made the most sense. Instead, the North-South link was chosen. This link will be 23 kilometres, almost double the length of an extension to the Southwest Rail Link. This link will cost $11 billion, almost double the supposed cost of extending the Southwest Rail Link. And instead, the Metro will not provide a solid link to Southwest Sydney, prioritising areas to the north that are further away than Liverpool, such as Penrith, Blacktown and Parramatta. Granted, extending the Southwest Rail Link would have resulted in a longer journey to Parramatta, Sydney's second CBD, but not devastatingly so. 52 minutes instead of 33 minutes. Conversely, getting from Liverpool or Campbelltown to the new airport by rail will take much longer than one hour due to the indirect route that was chosen. As a result, those in southwestern Sydney will feel pressured to drive to the new airport. So if it makes so much sense to have just extended the Southwest Rail Link, why wasn't it chosen? Well, according to the 2018 report that chose the route, it would help to connect more areas in the Northwest, West and Southwest to the new airport, 
especially since it was proposed that its full length would link to the Northwest Metro at Talawong. Its demand would be higher, the route chosen would be more important since there were limited road links, extending a heavy rail line instead would be less convenient since it wouldn't have luggage facilities, and patronage estimates for transfers between Kingston Smith and Western Sydney Airport were low. I do admit that a link between the two airports is probably not as essential as I've claimed. Sydney isn't really a city you transit in, unless you're a domestic traveller, in which case there'll probably still be sufficient domestic flights to both airports. I still think it would have been a nice bonus to extending the Southwest Rail Link, but anyways. Look, to play devil's advocate, I'm not actually completely against the North-South Line. I mean, I recognise that in its fully fleshed out form, it holds the potential to really help propel Western Sydney forward. I've long implored on this channel that Sydney needs more circumferential routes, and if the North-South Line is actually finished from Talawong to MacArthur, then I'm here for it. And honestly, looking at the full alignment, it is easy to see how it would benefit more people than a short extension of the Southwest Rail Link. I think my issue with what was chosen is that until it's in its final form, the Sydney Western Sydney Metro Sydney Airport really won't be all that useful. Certainly not as much as just a simple and cheaper Leppington extension. That should have been put first, linking the communities closest to the new airport. And hey, I haven't even mentioned the fact that the new line's power standards will be incompatible with the Northwest Metro, meaning that you'd have to change at Schofields. Honestly, I don't think this will affect operations too much, although, I mean, it's still silly. Check out RM Transit's video on the topic if you're interested. I actually cameoed in it. But there is hope for redemption. A corridor to extend the Southwest Rail Link to the new airport was finally officially gazetted in 2020 which will make it substantially easier to extend when the time comes. Even better, the government commenced a business case for an extension of the Western Sydney Airport West Metro to Glenfield from Aerotropolis in June 2022, with its findings to be released next year. I've actually met a few people who are working on this business case. Hello if you're watching. This does imply that the line will be converted to a metro, and obviously there's a temptation to condemn yet another railway conversion. But most people heading to Sydney from Leppington or Edmondson Park change at Glenfield onto the T8 anyway, since that's much faster. So a conversion probably doesn't make a major difference for Leppington and Edmondson Park commuters. Of course, commuters to Liverpool will be inconvenienced, but it's just one transfer, and they'll have quick access to the new airport instead. So there is reason to be hopeful. Now, I simply implore the state government to extend the Southwest Rail Link as per whatever the business case ultimately ends up recommending. Don't let it just sit on the shelf for years. Get it built. In the meantime, the designs of many of the Sydney Metro Metro Western Sydney Metro Airport Metro stations are gorgeous. Paul, tell us more. Certainly, Sharath. The Metro offers a pivotal opportunity to create dense, walkable communities in Western Sydney, housing more people where they want to live next to good public transport. The station designs are beautiful and stunning, and construction is progressing really well. The fact that they're surrounded by nothing really offers planners a blank canvas to deliver the most livable communities possible, and I hope they do. Also, say what you will about the new metro, I think it's just great that our new airport will actually be connected by rail to the rest of the city from day one. That will seriously make the new airport a more competitive option than it otherwise might have been. Thanks for joining us, Paul wherever you are. You're very welcome, Sharath. Please subscribe to my channel, which is Transport Vlog, to find out more about Sydney Metro and various other transport projects around Sydney and elsewhere in Australia. But I'm not done. Oh, 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 I wish I was done. The new airport will not be linked very well to Liverpool or Campbelltown, as I've conclusively established. But not only does it not have to stay this way, the government have insisted for years that it won't be this way. Enter Bus Rapid Transit. In March 2018, the Australian, New South Wales and various local governments all signed the Western Sydney City Deal. Plenty was included in this deal, including a commitment that the New South Wales government would establish rapid bus links from Penrith, Liverpool and Campbelltown to the new airport before its opening in 2026. 
this would genuinely help redeem the fact that the two latter city centres would not have quick rail connections to the new airport. But over five years later in 2023, and construction has still not commenced. The new state government did recommit money to funding its construction in the latest budget, but only around $300 million, nowhere near the estimated $1.6 billion required. Supposedly, the planned routes already exist, but the government has inexplicably refused to release these to the public. I beg the government to get on with building these rapid bus links. Otherwise, we truly do risk the airport opening without those who actually live near the airport in places like Liverpool, having fast public transport links to the new airport. And that would simply be a wasted opportunity. I'm so, so excited for the new Western Sydney Airport to open. And although I've just made an entire video about the Western Sydney Airport, Sydney, Western Sydney, Metro Railway, Metro Airport problem, I definitely don't think it's irredeemable. It needs to be extended to Glenfield. It needs to be eventually extended to Talawong and MacArthur. And the rapid bus links need to be built as soon as possible. This airport is a, well, I hate to sound like the government, but it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. And we simply cannot afford to stuff up how people get to it. I'm hopeful because the decisions that are made from here can truly ensure Western Sydney Airport takes off. See what I did there? Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.